All righty, third and fourth graders, welcome to part two, part two of your llama weaving project. Um, the goal today is to complete them. So do all the extra fun things to get them finished. I noticed some of you guys already did, um, and that is totally fine with me. If you were able to do the rest of the steps without me, that is quite all right. So, but for those of you who were waiting to see the rest, here it is. Okay, so my weaving is not done. I only have a couple of rows here. So I took another piece of string and I am just going to tie those two pieces of string together to continue my weaving. So to add another color, you just tie the next color to your first color, just like that. Then I like to trim those little ends so that they get out of my way. But if you like the little frayed edges to add a little bit of extra texture to your weaving, that's okay with me. Okay, then I'm gonna use my needle again, just so that it's a little easier for you guys to see what's going on. And so it's a little faster, so you don't have to sit here and watch me weave forever. So my last one was under, right? So then this one's over, then this one's under. Pull it through. I'm trying to do this through a camera lens. All right, so, and then turning the corners was the tricky part, remember? But I believe in you. And hopefully you guys have figured this out already. So under, over, under, over, all the way across. And then don't forget to pull it tight. And that knot will just come along with you. All right, then you just keep going back and forth until you have it as far as you want your weaving to go. Oop, I'm out of the camera. You have, if you have one of these giant plastic needles at your house, feel free to use it, but I don't expect you to because I just found mine laying around. Um, so you're just going to keep weaving and weaving and weaving until it is down as far as you like it. I did several rows with this one. Don't forget to keep pushing your rows up to the top. That'll help um, it look like the blanket is at the top of your llama and it also helps those weaving rows to look nice next to each other. So you can just keep weaving and weaving until you get it, you know, where you're happy with it. Then we're going to go ahead and draw all the fun extra things to make it look like a llama. So I'm going to reach around here and it really doesn't matter whatever you have at home, crayons, markers, colored pencils, even if all you have is like ink pens, that will work just fine as well. Or if you have, I mean, Sharpies, pencils, whatever you can find, just dig them out and use them. Okay, so for the llama face, I like to draw a circle. And then I draw the letter V. And then a J and a backwards J. And that's how I do the nose and the mouth. And then sometimes I like to color in the nose a little bit more. The eyes are just simple little black dots. Sometimes I like to add eyelashes. Sometimes I don't. Then sometimes I like to add a little curly chin. Then if you do have colors, I like to color the inside of my llama's ears. Sometimes I like to give my llama little rosy cheeks. You can add a pom-pom necklace. You can add fur. Some of my third and fourth graders colored their llama so that it was no longer white. They wanted it to be like tan or brown or gray or black. That is totally fine too. Don't forget the hooves. You can color the hooves in. Um, if you have pom-poms, maybe you have lots of craft stuff at your house, you can go ahead and glue these on. I went to the craft outlet store and bought um, a few hundred, I know this does not look like a few hundred, but it actually is, um, of these little mini pom-poms. 
and then we glued some of those on there too. Some of the students wanted to glue theirs like around the necklace or on the feet so it looked like they had little pom-poms on them, like shoes or they wanted a little fuzzy tail but that is totally not necessary it's just you know extra. So that is it that's how you finish it so the majority of your time is going to be weaving I'm going to continue weaving this down maybe switch a few more colors you can use as many colors as you want if you did not get a packet from me last week and you don't have yarn or cardboard or anything like that at home I put together quite a few packets for some students last week and I'm happy to put together more this week if you still want to do the llama project, I'm happy to get some yarn together for you, your cardboard, your template. If you weren't able to print it, I understand. Um, so please, please, please let me know. I'm happy to put that stuff together. Just drop it off in the office for you. And then when you swing by, you can grab it. The other thing I want you guys to know is I have been sorting art from last year. Lots and lots and lots of it. Most of this year's fourth graders, so last year's third graders, got their art back from their third grade teachers. They sent it home with a lot of your stuff um, earlier. But if you did not get your art back or if you're in third grade, um, I have a lot of your art from second grade last year. So if you want to just email me your first and last name and your teacher you had last year. I would love to get your art together for you and I can drop that in the office for you as well. I have lots of projects that were hung up in the hall or over at the Fine Arts Center or in our closet here. Um, so I'm happy to get that stuff home to you guys so that you can enjoy it. And I can't wait to see all of your llamas when they're all done. So please, please, please don't forget, send me those pictures, send them in. Um, I can't wait to hear from you. Talk to you soon.